Hello everyone, um, it's going to be a short and sweet video for me today. Um, I got a very exciting purchase from um, Stuart's Garden Centre the other weekend. Um, <laughs> for those of you who aren't interested in orchids, this might not be for you. Um, I am aware that orchids are not uh, the main interest feature of my channel base but um, for anyone who is interested or just curious I uh, thought this might be interesting um, so I'm going to show you I got this beautiful Vanda Orchid um, as you can see his um, flowers are dying um, but that's fine because I bought him at a discount but how pretty is that I mean I've got to put this on camera for posterity really because who knows it might never flower again in my care <laughs> I hope it does um, but for those of you who are not familiar Vanda orchids are um, a epiphytic orchid type um, so they live in the trees in the wild um, and they they get water and nutrients through their roots um, from the air so this is why he's completely what we would say bare rooted um, this is how they're sold um, and in theory, what you're supposed to do is um, dunk the roots every day, but that's a lot of maintenance, and I'm kind of interested in less maintenance. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do today to kind of reduce the maintenance and hopefully keep this bad boy alive. Um, but yeah, I was really lucky because these... So Stuart's has been selling these for 38 99 so nearly £40. Um, they reduced it to 19 99 um, I guess because the because the flowers are um past their best um and i wanted a vanda for so long i just felt like it was the kind of the perfect opportunity to try them without um risking 40 quid all in one go because <laughs> that's a lot of money um so yeah snapped them right up there was a couple of lovely ones um but my mum and I have a bit of an affinity for these bl beautiful blue, well, they're not true blue because there's only one true blue orchid in the world, um, but they're sort of very purpley blue, um, blurple, I'm going to say, they're blurple. Um, and I just, I love them. I love them so much. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to try i think this will fit but if it doesn't i've got a bigger vase um we're going to try and stick this into a vase um and uh, that will be where it will live um so what i want to do is get all the roots into the vase without um getting the leaves into the vase um so that we can create a, a humid atmosphere around the roots looking at these together they might actually be i don't know we'll see we'll see whether there there's a lot of rootage here <laughs> um so yeah we want to create a humid environment um for these roots to be able to take up uh moisture and nutrients um all all the time basically um rather than just um whenever i get around to watering it slash dunking it slash spraying it so um yeah that's what we're gonna do um i'm just gonna take these uh i'm gonna take the label off because that's always a nice start isn't it um and it's got a bit of wire this is not best done blind but oh well um please don't injure anything pretty please right there we go it's a, a weird hook wire thing um presumably to keep it connected to its long stake so so just so you can see it's got this long kind of stake oh there goes a the flower to hang um, the plant from and I did kind of mull over putting this into my IKEA greenhouse cabinet but firstly it's running low on space because <laughs> that would be the ideal place for it really um, and I'm not against doing that I just kind of wanted to experiment to begin with um, if I see it's going downhill then I'll probably just stick it right in there um, I just want to see so we've got a little cage if you can see very well we've got a little cage that's holding the roots in here um it's kind of hard to see through through the roots uh, but it's a black cage and attached to that cage is this um hanging frame thingy bob um i don't know if i can can i remove that let's see oh i can i can you know so i think i'll keep this um spike thing hanging spike 
hanger <laughs> thingy bob i'll keep it um just in case i do need to um put it into the um blah, 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 so many ums <laughs> um just in case i do need to move it into the ikea greenhouse cabinet but for now i want to try and do it this way so let's see um so what i normally recommend is giving the roots a good soak to kind of get them a bit more pliable before putting them into a vase but do you know what i just want to see if it's even really possible for them to fit in here i'm not even sure if the cage will fit let's see um so it's not the end of the world if you um break the roots a tiny bit because um the roots of orchids are covered by um, a sheath essentially which is what does the photosynthesizing and the um we might fit you know we might fit um the yeah the sheath is what does the photosynthesizing and the uptake of the um nutrients within the sheath there is the uh little root which if any of you have come across any rotten orchid roots um there's like a tiny little thread in the middle that is the actual root um this contains the root <laughs> so what we need to do we need to soak these roots to get them a bit more pliable because they are a bit stiff um and then i'll come back and see if i can shove it into this vase <laughs> not shove it you know what i mean okay so we have soaked mr orchid for a good sort of five minutes and roots are looking a lot more pliable i'm just picking it up and thinking i'm just gonna get dripped on now but <laughs> oh well <laughs> um so yeah roots are looking a lot more pliable so let's have a look um i'm not sure whether this is gonna go in well or not but we're gonna have a little go and if not i've got my backup bars at the ready I don't actually even know if this um, cage will fit into the vase, but we'll see. This is just one of those jars that you can get in Ikea for quite cheap. Um, I think they're like £2 each or something like that. Perfect for terrariums, let me tell you. Are we going in or are we not going in, Mr. Vander Orchid? Let's get those leaves out. <laughs> No, you can't probably can't see very well. I did think about showing you on camera, but right. <laughs> this is how far we're in. Um I don't want to force it, but I'm also aware that we kind of need the roots to be somewhat kind of stiff in there so that we can hold up the orchid and it doesn't just kind of flop around in there. So let's see. Something doesn't want to go in. What's happening? Something's stopping. Oh, okay, we're on. We've got an angled root, I see. Um, see, this is interesting. We've got some, because it's obviously grown outside of a vase, this isn't its, you know, growth habit that it's been in for a long time. Um, we've got some roots that kind of grow outwards from there but let me tell you we're in we are in and if I manage to just gently kind of yeah okay we are in all but one root <laughs> um but can you see how this stands up because of how sturdy the roots are in this glass um so what I plan to do what you can do is you can um fill the glass up with water like once every other day or so um in order to water the roots um but obviously that's still quite still kind of high maintenance and what i've been wondering um now that i've stuck it in the jar so i i've read online that you can put about like 20 percent. i think this is from james wong who's on um instagram and twitter he's quite a well-known um, plant botanist I believe um, and he says that you can put about 20% of water in the bottom and it should still be fine as long as the roots aren't like submerged um, I'm wondering if it's actually a good idea to put some lecker at the bottom 
and put some water in the bottom so that it's not um, overwhelmed by roots that have grown outside in air being suddenly stuck in water. Now that I've put you in, is that what I want to do with you? There's a bug on this. What kind of bug is that? Odd. It's not a plant pest. That's so weird. I'm not going to be able to show you though. Um, it's too tiny. It's like a little black dot. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> um, I think I need to give this a proper spray over anyway because it looks it looks like it might have had spiders in it at some point, like actual spiders rather than spider mite. Um, so I need to give them a bit of a spray over just to be on the safe side. Um, that's really bugging me. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that now that I've stuck it in. Now that I've gone to all that effort. <laughs> um, all right, let's pull it back. Let's pull you back out. There we go. That was nice and easy. Okay, I'm going to stick him back in the water for now for a moment and get. I'm going to grab some lecker. Sorry I'm so backwards, but you know, if you've been here a while, you know what to expect at this point. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, I am going to grab some lecker and go from there, I think. Right, we're back and I've got my jar full of lecker with a little bit of water at the bottom. Can you see that? Can you see that very well? If I do that, maybe you can see it. It's kind of reflecting off my grey lights badly. <laughs> there we go. So you can see that the water isn't over the top of the lecker, um, which hopefully should prevent the uh, roots from getting any kind of rot or anything like that. So let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> um, I'm just, I was just thinking it's probably more interesting for you guys if I try and show you what I'm doing. So um, let's have a look, see if we can, there we go. Yes, Whoop. no. <laughs> Okay, camera top heavy, not so good. Is that okay? Yeah, I think that's okay. Right. So what we're going to do is we are going to just put these roots gently in here. Some of them will go into the water, but that's okay. Um, I just really am keen for not all of them to go into the water. So, let's just sort of parcel them in gently. Um, as I said, it's not the end of the world if you do snap some of the um, root sheaths. But, you know, obviously, ideally we don't want to. So I'm being, you know, somewhat gentle. Gently, gently catchy monkey, as they say. Um, now a little, little bit of gentle pushing required to get these in because I want to get that cage into the jar. <laughs> so, okay, so we are, I would say 90% in and then we've got, we've got this one, again, one root that doesn't seem to want to go in. I don't know. Maybe I can bend him. Yeah, maybe I can bend you. Yes? Are you happy with bending? Um, and so I might get sort of a week or two into this and find that it doesn't like being in here. Um, and usually your orchids will tell you if they're not happy with what you've done. There we go. There we go. That's better. And so what's important is to make sure that you have the leaves out of here. Um, but as you can see, it's quite held quite firmly in place by the roots um, being quite stuck in there. So I'm going to tilt us back up again. So, oh, we're sideways now. There we go. <laughs> I've got a nice little fan. I can do the hello. <laughs> um, there we go. So he is standing upright of his own volition. Um, I don't have to do anything to keep him upright. And hopefully um, having him in this glass jar will cultivate a really nice humid environment in there. Um, 
<laughs> it's nice for the leaves to be humid as well, but it's not as essential as it is for the roots. Um, so I'm going to play around with where I put them, um, see what happens and uh, go from there. But yeah, super happy with this. Um, I did say it would be a short video. I'm hoping it hasn't ended up quite long because of my mishap. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm going to do is put him in like pulled back from a south facing window so he's not in super super bright sun because i'm not I, th I think he's just been in um sort of shaded uh like greenhouse type environments for a while so i, I don't want him to get sunburn um but that's what i'm gonna do and maybe graduate him closer to the sunshine um but yeah happy days i'm very excited by my new vanda and we'll see where this adventure takes us um i'll do an update at some point as well so that you know what's happened but hopefully um this situation will work out well i'll let you know <laughs> um thanks as always for watching guys um don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you again in the next one bye guys Thank you.